All right, let's do a quick turkey and spinach burger with some light yogurt coleslaw. So first things first, measure 250 grams of turkey. Now, of course, you can substitute the ground turkey with ground chicken. While turkey is a bit leaner, I do find the chicken a bit more tastier, but you choose whatever you like more. So 250 grams would be just about this much. And now let's just add about a cup of roughly chopped spinach. Just kind of bunch it together into a bundle and then just have a rough go at it. One across. So let's also add in one minced garlic, a light pinch of cayenne. You can of course adjust this to your preference. And then some salt, just to taste, and some pepper. Now just give this a good, good mix. You can use your hands if you like, you can use a spatula. Now the best part about adding raw spinach into our mince here is to really provide moisture to turkey, which as per its reputation has a tendency to be quite dry once cooked. This looks simply beautiful. It's so simple and it's going to be packed with flavor. That spinach really boosts the water content because as it cooks down, it adds its own flavor and it keeps that meat nice and moist. Okay, so let's start forming our patties. This mix should be enough to make two patties. What I quite like to do is grease my hands a little bit with some olive oil. And that really helps to make sure the meat doesn't get too stuck to my hands. So just like that, with that smooth motion, use the palms of your hands to really make a smooth, smooth ball. You really want to make sure that that ball is nice and tight so that when you tap it out to spread it into a patty, it's nice and tight, it doesn't crack and doesn't break. And once you're happy with it, just lay it flat on your hands. And with your other hand, literally pat it out while making sure with the side of your finger that you have a nice and smooth side. Again, pat it out, keep making sure that it's nice and tight, smooth, and again, same thing. You want to go about four to five inches in diameter. I'll just make sure it's a bit bigger than the burger buns you're using. And there you go. Just make sure that the patties you're making are about half an inch or so bigger than your burger buns because every burger shrinks a little bit when it's on the pan. So while that pan heats up, let's start with our quick coleslaw. So we're gonna keep this coleslaw really nice and light. So we're gonna make the dressing, the sauce, with some yogurt, red wine vinegar, and some lemon juice. So add two tablespoons of yogurt, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and then one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Season with some salt and pepper. Give this a good whisk. Now, to this, add about a cup of shredded cabbage, and then about the same amount of shredded carrots. Now, I like to use tongs here. Just grab your tongs and give this all a good toss. And that's your simple, light coleslaw with some yogurt and lemon juice. All right, so the grill pan is hot. So just lightly grease this with a bit of olive oil. And then grab your burger carefully. And before you put it on, make sure you put a bit of a dent with the index of your thumb and then lay it down, dent side up. I'll show it here. Same thing. Take the burger, 
put a dent to the front of your finger or your thumb and then dent side up. I just have to like kind of tilt the pan and get that oil under those grills. Now at this stage you really want to make sure that you're not touching the burger too much. Just let that sit and get seared nicely with those grill marks for about 5 to 7 minutes on medium to medium high heat. And as it's cooking that spinach is going to release all those juices and really help to keep the burger nice and moist. You know it's ready when it easily releases just like this. Alright you guys are going to love this. Take a look at this. Beautiful. Same thing for this one. One, two, three. Nice. Now make sure turn down the heat and now let this cook slowly for the next five to six minutes or until completely cooked. A nice gentle medium low heat will be perfect to get that sear and really finish cooking that burger all the way through. Now as soon as you flip them, let's add in our cheese. I'm using some old yellow cheddar here. I'm just going to add a few pieces just like that. Now while the burgers are cooking, I'm going to prepare all of my toppings for the burger. Now we're going to keep this really simple. A nice slice of onions and just cut this down the middle. And then we want about a quarter inch thick onion ring. Just go straight down, peel the outer ring, which looks like it already got peeled. And all we need is two rings, so just push it out. And there you go. Perfect. Then let's cut our tomato. About the same thickness. And for the greens, we'll use a bit of arugula. I'm using my homemade buns today. And I'm gonna have to cut this because of course like when I bake this, it's a whole bun. So I'll show you how to cut this really quickly. So for a bun like this, all I like to do is go straight down and literally keep that knife straight while I'm going back and forth like a saw. Go all the way and at the end, I usually just turn this over and go straight down. And here are your perfect buns. I'm going to smell this because these are freshly baked at home. It's made with some butter, eggs, milk, and they smell incredible. So that's my buns. One nifty trick to toast your buns is to really use the bagel setting of your toaster. Now I think burgers are a really personal thing, just like pizza. Everybody likes their burgers and pizzas their own way. So this is how I like my turkey burgers. You are free to put whatever you want in your burgers. All right, so the burgers are now ready. The cheese is nice and molten. Let's take this out. They look beautiful, nice, thick, juicy, cheesy turkey burgers. Who would not want to go for turkey when it looks like this? All right, let's go. All right, now it's time. To assemble a burger. So start with a bit of that mayo. Now you can always now you can always use my recipe for spicy mayo if you want. Now just spread that out all across. And as you can see, and as you can see, that toaster really did a really great job on our buns here. Then our arugula, the best part about arugula, then our arugula, and the best part about it is you can really put a lot of it, really form it the way you want it, so you can add a lot of body and be great for you at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna pick the cheeseburger. 
for this one and just like that let that sit on that arugula and that ar and that arugula is going to separate the bun from the burger which is going to help keep that bun nice and crispy and toasty then add in then add in your tomato just like that Then add in your tomato, just like that. And then onions. It smells. My favorite onions are red onions because they smell incredible. And I think they have the most flavor compared to all other onions. And that'll be all. Just put that top on. And you are ready to rock. Here's our coleslaw. Get that burger right there at the center. That's our main, that's our star. And then add a generous portion of that beautiful, beautiful coleslaw. So there you have it guys, a really lean and healthy turkey and spinach burger and a really light and fluffy coleslaw which is going to make you feel great after you eat this and it's going to make you want more so go ahead grab your pans grab your burgers and let's party this is going to be great this looks like it came out of a restaurant and that's what i want you guys to do and you can do it too so go ahead go on cookingwithanadi.com and take a look at all the ingredients all the instructions all the pictures and let me know how your burgers turned out. If you want more videos just like this, you guys know what to do. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you know when my next video comes out and give this video a big, big thumbs up. I'm gonna go and grab a bite and I hope you do the same. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.